Hello, and welcome to Let's Play Banjo Kazooie Grunty's Revenge for the Game Boy Advance. Uh, I am Regal Grub Grub, a strange name, but uh, we won't dwell on that too much. Um, let's just get straight into it, shall we? Two months have passed since Gruntilda the Witch was defeated by Banjo and Kazooie in the events of the original. Uh, after falling from her tower, Gruntilda was buried underground. Yeah, big rock fell on top of her. And uh, she is waiting there for her sisters to come and rescue her. Now I have to point out that if I was Gruntilda, I'd be pretty pissed off that it took her two years to, to come and save me. Right, here's Banjo. And uh, he's, he's all about clean. Banjo is about clean. Uh, he doesn't like that fish in that barbecue, so he's going to clean that up. And Kazooie is going to clean the house like his bitch. That's a bit strange for a bear to be so worried about cleanliness. But they do shit in the woods, not in their own homes. Here's Klungo. He only had a passing role in the original Banjo Kazooie. Um, a much bigger role in this and Banjo Tooie. He's uh, trying to get that rock off of Gruntilda. He's there for two years doing it. Uh, he doesn't go for food or to do poops, so I oh, know he's committed. Anyway, after two months, he's thinking, "Nah, this ain't this ain't happening. I'm gonna, we can do something about it." And Mumbo's thinking, "What is this, me? What are you doing? I was gonna find out, and I was gonna..." Like bloody murky or right. Clunko comes back. He's made a robot in the space of about 30 seconds. So he's clearly one mean mechanic. Yeah, nice handiwork there. Anyway, I should probably explain a little bit more about this Let's Play now. Um, this is inspired by X the Music and uh, Cyphron and Zorlance, who I actually know personally. I think he's probably the main factor in me doing this. But special shout out to X the Music, who's helped me out so much with regards to getting this together. Um, I've been limited some as to what Let's Play I can do, because originally I wanted to... Um, wanted to do Donkey Kong 64, but my uh, my laptop won't won't let Camtasia record the Project 64 emulator, and um, yeah, it just lags up like a bitch, and so I've been limited to just regular old GBA emulation because my computer can handle that. Um, and also, this has been one of the choices in uh, X the Music's Let's Play competition, or not competition, voting thing. And uh, hasn't really had a chance, so I thought I'll do it instead, so you can carry on the banjo adventures. Right, so Gruntilda's decided to come and steal Kazooie and go into the past. I think it's a bit of a, an underused mechanic in the game because Gruntilda goes into the past, as do uh, Banjo and Kazooie, and yet there's no time paradoxes or anything like that. Banjo and Kazooie don't meet up with themselves. Um, yeah, it's a bit, it's a bit of a shame because that can be, uh, that's uh, really well used in other games like Mario and Luigi Superstar. No, not Superstar. So the Partners in Time. Yeah, that's it for the DS. And um, yeah, a real shame. Anyway, so. I should point out that this emulator allows me to speed up at certain points. Um, so, like this uh, cutscene that's coming up where Banjo goes back in time it takes absolutely ages. So, I'll just uh, speed this up. There he goes. And we're back in time. Spiral Mountain again. Oh, who's that? That's not Bottles. That is uh, Bottles' grandfather. And, uh, yeah, he basically teaches you all the moves and things. Um, one of the best lines in the game is coming up. I'll point that out. Uh, it came from some Mimba Jimba fella. Oh, Mumbo Jumbo. No, it's true, I tell you. Oh, brilliant joke. Uh, yes, anyway. Let's skip this and actually get into the game proper. I should be able to get into the first world if I'm lucky. Musical notes get you the moves. I'm sure everyone who's watching this already knows that. Okay. A bit more liberally placed than in the last game. Oh, the ginger! Ginger! I'm not going to try and 
try and do that. Um, yes, we have just found a ginger. Lovely job, lovely stuff. Anyway, hello, Bozai, again. Let me see them notes. I got them, bitch. You can take them. Except he doesn't take them, he just sees them. And, uh, he is, uh, satiated by that. That's where we take all the jiggies in the game. Open up new worlds and shizzle. Why not try talking to the ginger oracle? Well, because the ginger oracle has nothing good to say. You stupid bug eyed freak. Oh, get off. Anyway, let's just, uh, and upwards. Let's get to the first world and do some interesting stuff there before this video is over. What is that sparkling thing? What is it? Oh yes! It's a hollow honeycomb. Looks like it is big dip in this kind of honeycomb. Just dip the in his big arm this blue man and get the head back, didn't he? Yeah, will do. Will do, sir. Get our first jiggy. Into the jiggy wiggy temple. Now he wasn't in the original. So I don't know how in the past he's, you know, got a little abode in Spiral Mountain. Or maybe it was demolished. You've just collected your first jiggy. Yes. Well pointed out. Okay, get through this boring crap. So we're going to open the first world, Cliff Farm. There aren't as many worlds in this as in uh, Banjo Kazooie and Banjo Tooie. Perhaps Nuts and Bolts too. Don't know about that yet. Um, yeah, there's about five worlds. Um, so all those five worlds have ten jiggies plus uh, Spiral Mountain. So we only have sixty jiggies to collect. Um, so it should be a quicker Let's Play than either Banjo-Kazooie or Banjo-Tooie. I mean, I know Cypheron's still going on with that. It's on about part 64 last time I checked. But anyway, here we are. First world. Cliff Farm. And we've got enough for our first move. What could it be? Swimming. Now, swimming isn't that well done in this uh, top-down platformer, but, you know, it's nice that they included it, I guess. Wanna try to boot to the lift? Oh, okay, I will. Jeez, give me some beef, man. Oh, and here we go. The water, underwater bit's limited to just these kind of areas. Jiggy number two, not too bad. Yeah, you just... It's, it's quite well done in the second world. You'll see that at some point, I'm sure. What have you got to say for yourself? Why do you disturb the great oracle of Jinjo? Oh, mate. I was just... You know, help me out. Help me out here. Okay, find my mates. Okay, I'll do it. Yeah. And he only wants them just for a bit of gossip. Okay. Let's carry on. No, I should go this way first. So I learned move number two, which is uh, an important one. I think it's climbing. We've got enough again. Yep. Climbing. Okay, let's have a look. We've got um, a minute and a half left. Right, let's go climbing. Um, what else can I say about this game? I, th I think it's a bit unbalanced at points. Um, this level is really easy. Like, hella easy. Um, and it makes you think that, oh, this is going to be really quick, but all the other levels are extremely difficult. And, um, oh no, slow down. I think I might just leave it here if it... Oh no, it's, it's okay. Um, yeah, everything 
in the future levels takes off so much of your health and none of the enemies really give you back much. I don't think I'll go down the slide because I'll finish before the video's out. Rather, I'll finish before I get to the bottom. So I'll just carry on up here for a bit. Take it. Yeah. I'm hopefully that I'm hoping that the video quality won't be too bad. Because if you've seen X the Music's latest one, the video quality on that is exceptional. He's playing Resident Evil 4. Um, it's probably you're probably actually watching this through the video response. Anyway, so yeah. Hoping that this will come out okay. Hopefully you've enjoyed this. Uh, so we end on jiggy number three.